What is meant by the common good and how can the church best apply it to society today? Jesuit Father William Regg reflected on these questions at a conference at the Pontifical Gregorian University in Rome on December the 14th. Addressing the theme, The Common Good and Catholic Social Thought, a Contemporary Reflection, part of a series of lectures at the Gregorian's Institute for Interdisciplinary Studies in Religion and Culture, Father Regg began by outlining what is meant by the common good. He essentially boiled the concept down to three areas, basic rights, respect for persons, interpersonal flourishing, and societal integration. He then went on to explain what Catholic social thought adds to the concept. But he began by pointing out that societies can often fall into two extremes, totalitarianism in a communist sense and extreme individualism in the sense of unbridled capitalism. Catholic social thought, a theology not an ideology in the words of John Paul II, is different. Pope John Paul II uh, states that uh, Catholic social teaching is not a third way, that is, it's not a particular platform or ideology, but rather a set of critical principles for informing uh, political discourse and policy making. Father Reg drew on a wide range of definitions for the common good, the Second Vatican Council document Gaudium et Spes, John Paul II's teachings and the Catechism. In all of these definitions, he said, the Church's idea of the common good rejects both totalitarianism and extreme individualism. The Jesuit professor then drew heavily on well-known Catholic philosophers, including Jacques Maritain, who compared the common good to that of musical ensembles, sports teams and deep friendships, all of which, if aimed at common excellence, lead to human flourishing. But he warned that applying this philosophy to politics risks sheer Catholic utopia. Forging laws on human flourishing can also risk the pursuit of the common good, leading to intrusive political authority and partisan politics. Father Reg said these pitfalls can be avoided by recapturing the common good as a critical principle. At the same time, he said the church should remain silent about precise legal and administrative means of pursuing the common good. Catholic uh, leaders want to find uh, a way to uh, introduce the concerns and critical questions that are posed by Catholic social doctrine into the discourse in such a way that it can really uh, inform uh, all parties and improve the uh, policy options and choices available to uh, citizens and policymakers. Father Reg concluded by saying that in today's complex and globalized world, it's increasingly urgent that Catholic social thought find a politically compelling approach to social integration, the third condition of the common good.